So ladies and gentlemen, it feels amazing to say that Adventure Time is officially back and I I'm very happy to say this because it is one of my favorite shows of all time. I realized I still needed to watch the final season. So last year I basically marathoned the entire series from the beginning the beginning episodes that I've seen a million times, uh, the first four seasons up until the end. And I gotta say that it's just in a beautiful, amazing journey from beginning to end. I especially love Distant Lands too. And I gotta say like Adventure Time is just one of those shows that is timeless. And its humor and characters and world building are just unique from beginning to end. And I gotta say that the new uh, series, Fiona and Cake, takes that, everything that made Adventure Time great, and delivers a very uh, surprisingly mature uh, story that continues the original story from Adventure Time. So this one is set 12 years after the events of the finale, and the main character we follow now is Simon Petrokov, also known as previously as the Ice King. And the story begins there, and from there, everything that happens after with Fiona and Cake, as we know from the original series, were actually creations from Ice King's mind, like his whole distorted, warped uh, world inside his head. That he became inspired to create these new characters, which are basically gender swap versions of every single character in the land of Wu from the original Adventure Time series. And I gotta say, it was gonna be tough to follow everything that made their Adventure Time great, especially with a new concept, with new characters. But I gotta say that they did a great job. And especially, I was never really a big fan of the Fiona and Cake specials in Adventure Time. But this series really changed my mind on that. And I have to say this because we were introduced to a very different version of Fiona than the one we saw in the original Adventure, Adventure Time series. For example, this Fiona is much more mature. She's uh, 29 years old. She lives in this really different world from the one we met in the original Adventure Time series. So basically, after the events of the finale where uh, Ice King becomes Simon once again, and his mind becomes basically normal and aka not insane as the one from Ice King and basically the world inside his head, which is later revealed to be an actual canonized world, uh, becomes normal. So, so the Fiona we meet lives in a very normal world and that sets up the beginning, which is a very amazing introductory episode. So for the first two episodes, you don't really know what's going on. You realize that Fiona and Cake live in a very distant world, even Cake is a normal cat. And then the series slowly starts revealing small details that you later piece on by the third and fourth episode. And then it becomes a really interesting story where Simon meets his creations, Fiona and Cake, and they go on this adventure in order to save their world as they're being chased by this multiversal policeman known as the Scarab, which is a very fun and interesting character. And it does a really great job. Like a lot of the original characters from Adventure Time are back. Simon is basically the main character along with Fiona and Cake, but also we get to meet, and also I'm gonna go into some spoilers, but we also get to see an adult version of Finn, which is was basically the best part of the show, I think, and like especially in the second episode. And I say that because I'm really biased as a fan of Finn. I really enjoyed that episode. I loved like the cameos. We also get to see Princess Bubblegum again and Marceline, which are basically immortal. We know that they stick around basically till the end with all the rest of the immortal characters. But I gotta say that it was really fun to see, like even if in small portions, but it was nice to see these characters once again. But the whole story focuses more on Fiona and Cake, like their characterization. And I gotta say, like, like I said before, that these characters become much more fleshed out in the new series. And the main reason behind that is because this is a more much mature series. I think like A Distant Lands, it was a very intricate and amazing love letter for fans who grew up with the original series since we were kids. For example, like if my generation grew up with Adventure Time, I basically started watching it when I was like 10 years old. So for me to see these characters once again, to see these stories like, like very mature, I'll give you some examples of what I'm talking about. For example, the characters now say things like, damn, like, hell look like really adult like not adult like they don't say fuck and those kind of things but they have much more mature language like there's a little bit more violence there's some scenes that really like made me surprised to see that in adventure time but i think those are like small nods to the audience that grew up with the characters and i thought that was a really nice touch and it's not really the main focus of the series but also i have to say like even like the small jokes and those kind of things like the jokes related to for example fiona's dissatisfaction with her life like she originally starts off as kind of like a person who works who hates her job and then she becomes like more obsessed over this idea of basically restoring the magic to her world and that like drives her and that was pretty relatable too and there are a lot of really relatable moments throughout the series, which I really enjoyed and really make it the best for adult audiences. Cake, as always, is very interesting. I think her character is also really fun throughout the series. She's a really amazing reflection of Jake in a lot of ways. And that is something awesome because I would have loved to see more of Jake. She only appears for like a minute in this uh, series. But Cake really makes the most out of that like same feeling we have. And throughout every, every single one of the episodes, like they go and go into really different adventures. We see the alternate version of Finn also in the series, I think in episode five or six, which was really interesting. And finally, I think it was really amazing to see like just a bunch of really interesting Easter eggs from like gender swapped characters to basically references to a lot of 
really fun adventure time characters that we haven't seen in years that made this series like a really fun continuation of that story we all know and love and that is something i just really enjoyed i really like how they expand the story and also hope it gets a season two and three because i think simon's story as a main character is not over yet so it's going to be really interesting to see if where it goes from here if it doesn't like if it continues like if it doesn't continue i felt like it like left off in a really interesting point but i feel like they're trying to make this series a beginning of a new like basically revival of the adventure time fandom which i'm a part of and i'm really excited to see where it goes but even if it doesn't i feel like it ended in a good spot so i won't be like too sad if it doesn't continue i really hope it does but I feel like if with this quality of writing, with this quality of world building, and especially like ex the existential themes, for example, Adventure Time had a lot of really creepy and existential moments that made you realize like this is much more than a kid's show. And this one that gets cranked up to a thousand. And there's a lot of like situations, especially with, you know, Gulp, which is was the kind of like the main villain in the original series towards the end, the final seasons. And it's just a relationship with uh, Betty, with Simon. Uh, you get to see like those kind of small moments that really make this uh, show much more serious than it appears. So you realize like, oh, this is not a really a kid's show. This is like much more serious than that. And yeah, I really enjoy that stuff. So if you like existential stuff, if you like like stuff that is fun, kind of like shows like the Midnight Gospel, some others like that, you're really like going to love Fiona and Cake. So anyways, as an Adventure Time, this show is really good. As a fan of animation, it's also really amazing. I think they did a great job with this one. And as a final score, I'm going to give it a 95 out of 100. I feel like it does a lot of the great things that Adventure Time did during its prime and a lot of the great things it did also during its final seasons. So anyways, those are pretty much all my thoughts on Fiona and Cake. As always, I love the show. I love everything they did with it. And I hope we get more Adventure Time in the future. Even if it's like more spinoff series, that would be amazing to see. But yeah, as long as we get more Adventure Time, I feel like it's going to be a great thing.